Um, it's only half past five, and it's it's pitch black. So, just want to uh, just get some lime. Make sure we're not going to run out overnight. We're, we're going to use a fair bit of lime tomorrow, so just want to make sure that the lime producer is going to give us as much lime as we can possibly get. We're going to need it all. Let's give it another bucket or two, and that will pretty much fill it up. We're almost out of stone. See the moon up in the sky there, it's out. And I think one more bucket will probably do it. Oh, I hate how it does that. And this will do us for the night. We'll go home then. And uh, we'll sleep the night and we'll come back and we'll get the uh, cotton underway. Alright. Ends another very productive day on the farm. We've got no rain coming, which is really good. And let's just uh, turn this off. And we'll head home. We may have to bring a trailer load of water in tomorrow. We've got, we've got a little bit. All right, that'll keep producing overnight. Let's turn this on, actually. So that should fill it right up. Uh, and our seeds. Seeds are all ready to roll as well. We'll head home now. Sheep are all nice and quiet. sleeping yet but they should be they should be sleeping but they're not got some more wool coming yeah I think that'll do us we'll head home now and uh, <coughs> put our head down for the night back tomorrow and we'll get the cotton in the ground. <coughs> I've got plenty of lights around the farm. There's no lights on any of the livestock. I was going to say animals. So none of the livestock have light on them so that won't interfere with their sleeping. But there's enough light for us to drive around work through the night as what I like to do when there's enough lighting so we will have to get some hay picked up tomorrow as well but that's uh, way down low on the priority list I've got the tractor up here ready view so we've got a nice big light up here too kind of get around everywhere we can sit out here at night and light that up I wish I wish you could actually light it and have some sort of burning flame in there the horses are down here trying to scab a few uh, few treats but they're not having any so We've got, we've got enough lighting to light up the roadways. 
and not enough to work under light but uh, to get around the farm and do what we got to do we got enough lighting um, we can work until night time and still get the uh, the implements put back where they belong so we've got just just enough just enough to light up what we need to the shed lights are off except the workshop one there so we've got extra lighting there if needed and we could pretty much um, go all over the farm so as you can see the cattle pen is completely in the dark and uh, the horses are in the dark the sheep are in the dark so no lights are on any of the livestock I think we've got a little bit of light bleed that goes into the edge of the chicken pen but they go in their coops at night so that's not going to affect them one iota so we can get around we can get around and do what we got to do so we've gone past the chicken pen you can't even see it there's a tiny little bit of light that bleeds in here that's not going to affect them at all so yeah we can get around the farm nice and easily so I'm liking it I, I really liking the way that this build is turning out we'll put our head down for the night as well and I also put some light down around the uh, around the forestry area it's once you start doing forestry it's hours and hours of work so we've got just enough just enough light to do what we got to do to get around and uh, not enough light to work in the area but what do you do put 5,000 lights down so and I've got the entrance a little bit of light at the uh, the entrance to the farm here so yeah for now on night time shouldn't be too much of a drama anymore I'm back up at the house we'll go, go to sleep now we'll go and do some work tomorrow good night farm get up at nine because the sun's coming up late and we got snow coming day after tomorrow not too sure how thick the snow will be but I'm sure it'll be enough to interfere so we definitely have to seed today if we take a good look oh man really <clears throat> well we can look at the productions now anyway seeds fully done and We've got 100,000 in storage for our lime. We're going to be using that today. As far as the animals are concerned, everybody's pretty happy. We've got almost 100,000 litres in milk that we can sell. Not just yet, though. I'm going to get that up near maximum. And everyone's pretty happy for now. Um, the chook pen's completely full. There's 500 in there, and it holds 500. Uh, there's a couple in there when they get to 24 months I'll sell them and sheep are happy everybody's happy so all right uh, I'll come back for this we'll actually go down to the workshop the seed is ready to roll um, if we just take a quick look at the season we got snow coming tomorrow but not today as you can see so pretty cool no rain no rain until April so tomorrow will be a snowy month and tomorrow is when we can put the cotton down not today uh, tractor ready anyway we'll do that we'll do that today let's uh, run time forward Go at times 30, that'll, that'll get us where we got to go. I do got some hay, I might pick up one or two rows of hay uh, before the snow comes. We're on our way to the workshop, we'll just stop in here. if there's any eggs that we can move to the side. It looks like 
looks like. We've got two pallets there. I'll just, um, just get these just moved over far enough just so that they're out of the way and we won't keep getting the messages that uh, no more room for eggs. That's not not what I want. I don't want to miss out on any product. So when I'm uh, doing any grass work, baling, winrowing, raking, cutting, I usually have music on so I can't go live because they'll give me a copyright strike. They've already given me two for uh, playing music, so yeah, it's ridiculous, really, but it is what it is. We've got the big fence up here. We're going to use that, and all of our grass gear. We've got to service it all today, or well, before we use it again, anyway. Either t today or tomorrow, it doesn't really matter. I think we'll just park up over here. We've got the mowers there, they're ready to, uh, to go into the workshop. I think we'll just park here, just stay out of the way a little. That should do us. Pull that cultivator out too, and we'll flip this uh, grass field down there straight ahead. The big grass field, it's going to be cotton. These three fields will all be cotton, so we'll get both of the, the big fellas underway. I should be able to use the medium tractor to, to pick up what remainder of the, the hay that there is. Uh, it's pretty heavy for the medium tractor, but it will be a bit of a struggle, but we can manage it. No worries there. We've got full seed. We've got the cotton ready to roll, so let's get this out without damaging it. Got to get some fuel, and I don't know if we're going to sneak in here. It's going to be fairly tight. Yeah, I think we're okay. We just fuel up. I think I might give this tractor a service as well. Otherwise, it would it'll be a bit of a struggle. Might just quickly do that. And I'll build some fuel. I don't need to carry the extra weight. I'll just quickly take this in for service. And we just did a little round the block trip for, uh, for nothing really. I looked at my fuel gauge when I kicked it over. So I'll finish the service now, but I won't. But I won't take the tractor out until about 2.30 p.m. So. No, wait, we don't need this. We'll take the medium tractor and we'll do a swap these. Actually, I'll use this one. I think the medium tractor will, oh, will really struggle to, to handle the uh, picking up of the straw, of the uh, hay not enough weight in the medium tractor. It's got the power to do it, but the, the trailer, once it fills up, 
gives that uh, medium tractor the dolts uh, a pretty hard time that's not what I want to do head across the bridge here Go and do a swapsies. I'll run this thing while the, the big tractors are out sleeting. So about half past two, I should be able to, in some kind of reality, in realism, um, be able to get that out of the workshop. What's going on here? Swapsies. needs a service I just I just can't get a win I just can't get a win I'll probably grab the cultivator with this one then I'll, I'll cultivate and then bring it in for service after the cultivation's done we're going to dig up the grass there on that field with the cultivator it's going to be a cotton field as well that one We need to make some good money from the cotton this season, as we did last season. And to do that, we need more bales. So, we'll get this out on the move. I'll just make sure I do, do have the right one. I don't want it to be the field creator. It's no longer needed. Hold this out. I'm going to dig this field up. I'm not worried about collecting the hay off this field. I've got enough hay on the other field. There's a couple of strips. That's all I need. Send the worker on his way. And then we'll give this a service. Both of them. Give both of them a service after after he's done here yeah, it's always never just going to line up is it bro I run this machine all the time and down we go and send the worker on his way alrighty everything's working well straight into a seed bed. Get out of the way. Now we'll grab the what time is it? Almost 2.30. Yeah we can call that service done. It's a long walk. I try not to use the, the quick quick skip. Alright. Is this ready? Looks good to me. So my my mechanic here is always ahead of time. I'm going to uh, I'm going to seed the front line of all of these so that the workers don't get confused. 
because they're absolute morons, as we all know. Complete and utter idiots. gonna snow tonight I just know it is I just know it's gonna snow tonight I'm not running all the way back to the house uh, uh, we're one day early so let's, uh, let's just get a couple of rows out hooked up Pick up a roll or two of this. I'll just make sure this worker's behaving himself. Wrong way, stupid. You always got to check the workers because they're absolute morons. I'm not worried about the hay here, it's just too much, I don't need it. I've got already over a million litres, so... Alright, the seed bed's going down and he's behaving himself, so... This will be interesting if he gets stuck or not, probably will. Although he shouldn't. How close is he to the edge? A little bit of overlap. The reason I wanted to check is because when he came in straight, he missed that tiny little bit there. And I don't want that on the cotton field. So we're going to have three cotton fields, three of our largest fields. Just want to make sure he does get that. I don't have any faith in this game, especially the workers. And he's done a... I won't speak yet. Yeah, he's done a decent enough job. So this field here, and this field, and this field is all going to be cotton. So we're going to have a lot of cotton. Uh, this is only a small field over here. I'm probably going to get more sugar. Uh, I'm not, actually, I'm not going to do that this season. I'll probably just get some barley in here for the chooks. We'll put potatoes in this one. Yeah, we'll put uh, sugar beets in this one. I'm hanging on to this forestry until they get to stage five, which is one more stage to go for these guys. And, well, two more stages for these. Pine and these ones are one more stage. So we're, we're nearly ready to do it, but not just yet. Uh, there's a lot of money sitting in that those trees there, so I'm losing $86,000 every month or every day in the game because uh, I hire, I lease all my equipment. Can we drop the pickup, please, for Christ's sake? All right, I'm just going to grab a row or two of this. As you see, it gets dark really quick, or early. And I know I've got running times 30. I might just knock that back a little bit. Belt time six. That worker will keep working through the night. So even when I go to sleep tonight, he'll just keep working. Which I'm happy with. grass field we're going to leave alone um, after this even when the next cut's ready I'm just going to leave it we don't need any more I've got a lot of grass I've got a lot of hay I'm desperate for straw I always 
skip one because it's easier to turn around and just keep moving. It's just easier. And I'll come back and pick that one up on the on the zero turn. Speaking of zero turn, I need to get the the mower, the zero turn mower, and we can mow the grass that's around the property that uh, that's grown a little bit wild. Tidy the, tidy the farm up. So tomorrow is a good day to do that and get the cotton underway and we can tidy up the farm from all the overgrown long grass. And if I put the right setting on, it'll just eat the grass instead of leaving a grass trail and just leave it nicely mowed. And that's what I'm looking to do. Full. So the medium tractor really struggles when you when you get a load in here. It's got the power to pull it, but the trailer gets too heavy; it can't steer. So even with the weight on the front, the medium Dolch trailer um, is is a perfect grass tractor. Absolutely perfect for grass, but not so much for the, the bigger trailers. So big trailers, big tractors. And the night will come fairly quickly in this month as well. So just after five o'clock, about 20 past five in game, we will be in the dark and that's when I'll call it a day. I'll head back home and we'll sleep the night. On I'll leave this guy over there to keep cultivating through the night. And that way that field will be ready for sowing tomorrow. This guy's got plenty of feed. The lights have just come on, so it's gonna get dark soon. Just drop this off in here. The other one, these both hold a million litres, straw, grass and hay, silage, that's what it holds, up to a million litres of all mix. So I use this one, it doesn't hold PMR unfortunately, it, it is a mod, uh, it's in silos, this is the normal one, it's only normal hay, but the one I use is the mod, which is this one here doesn't hold TMR, but holds silage, grass, hay, and straw. Also takes bales. Righto. Just have a look at this worker while I'm over here. Make sure he's still doing the job. Man, he's still doing the job. So that's good. Very good proud of your son. You've made me proud. A worker that does his job. And that's the werewolf out. We're ready to hit it with the cedar. I hope the snow doesn't come. Well, I hope it's just a thin layer of sleet because we're ready to roll. And now, if, as soon as you have workers running after 5 p.m., they're on uh, double dollars. So cost you a lot of money. Uh, we're going to head home now. I'm not taking the track to home. So we'll go up to the workshop. I'm not going to pick any more hay up. We've got enough. We'll just park this up in the shed. Or we'll park it outside the workshop. We'll take the little mighty boy home and we can continue on with our duties. Uh, it was $86,000. So we're going to be almost broke again. We won't have a great deal of money. So just to be safe, I think it would be wise for me. To 
stop the worker. I'm not going to work him overnight. Oh, have I got this lined up? I don't think I do. Oh man, we're right on. Right on. We got there though. We'll put this under cover. Just because, in case there is snow coming. So I'll shoot down there, I'll send him home for the day, we'll get him back out tomorrow, depending on Let him line up and then I'll send him home for the night. Come back tomorrow. Jump on the tractor with him. I'm gonna send you home, old mate. Go home and have yourself a nice beer and a good night's sleep. I'll send you off tomorrow. I always like to leave a little overlap. And we'll call that. We'll call that a day. We'll head home, peeps. We'll get the cotton down as soon as we wake up. Yeah, we'll do a quick save. Tomorrow we can put cotton down. <laughs> it says we got snow coming. Bit of a race against time. Full noise down the hill. And the lime's ready to go. We got full pack of seed. I don't really do anything with the horses. They're just there just for the aesthetics of it. We'll head home now. We'll sleep the night away. There's about a dozen beers under our belly. barbecue area, fireplace and a barbecue overlooks the water, horses have come up, they want some treats, not today stupid, they've got a bit of a decking, a bit of a decking going on here, just have somewhere to sit out front of the house instead of sitting on the porch, overlook the water. Pretty cool. We've got the excavator down here too. Gonna, gonna dig out uh, a little bit more of the dam. It's a bit muddy and sloshy down there. As you can see. Get on the sloshy side. Alright. Let's get into this. Good night farm. Uh, let's go 9am. I think it's going to be dark in the morning. Damn, what are we looking at? Oh, the snow's just starting. Maybe we can get the cultivator cranked in. Let's go. Let's get over there. Full noise down the hill. I don't know how thick the snow's going to get. 
down to 176,000, so 30, 40, 50,000, 50 odd thousand to lease our equipment. When I do make enough money, I'll be starting to buy everything bit by bit. But I couldn't run the farm without leasing what I do lease. There's just no way I would have um, got this far. Oh, the trees are up. Uh, they finally, they've been, uh, they've been little saplings for ages and ages. Now they've finally got up. I am going to plant more. So I'm going to keep them about eight or nine months apart. So these saplings have come up and these are gone to the next growth stage. They're getting nice and big. They should look good when they're all built. When, or when, when they've all grown, not built. So these have still got a long way to go. I'm going to put a different breed down as well in amongst here. Look, these saplings are coming up too. Excellent. I'm stoked, man. That's really cool. Really cool. Let's go and have a look at the forestry. I didn't, I didn't do that this morning. So I need a different uh, breed of trees in here as well just to mix it up. A couple of shaggies and stuff would be cool. Yeah, these ones take ages to grow, so... They spring up fast, and then these ones, these pines, have just overtaken them. So we're still a fair bit away from harvest on these. There's probably another seven or eight months, I'd say. Yeah, it's all coming up good. I'm pretty happy. We'll slowly but surely get it looking more realistic. So I put anything over here? I thought I had saplings over here. And I sold the big shed, the big transport shed down the back. I got rid of it. I didn't see the need to have it. It was uh, 20 something slots. And these don't need to be undercover anyway, so. I, and I just put up some awnings just to, to keep these out of the weather. It's, uh, seed, fertiliser, herbicide, all that stuff. Didn't want the rain getting on it. And we'll get the other big tractor down on this one. And we'll get the cotton. I don't know if it's going to be any good. I don't know if it's going to be any good. Maybe tomorrow we'll get the cotton down. It might be safer. I don't want to get halfway through seeding and then have the snow cover the field. That's what I don't want. We might get lucky and just have a light snow so it won't blanket everything. It doesn't look too heavy at the moment. They're, they're big. So we, we might might be okay. But we'll know about 10 o'clock if the map starts blanketing from that end of the map across to that one we'll know if it's if it's going to uh, be a really thick snow or not get our worker on there I don't know, it's a bit of a gamble. It's a bit of a gamble. So I just needed to do that field in grass. I've got two cuts off it and uh, we've got more than enough. What we need, get rid of that. Right, so those two fields there, that one and this one, the one behind us, that'll all be cotton. forward to that. Yeah, I will pick up some of this hay actually. May as well while I'm here. I did plan on putting the cotton down but the bloody snow came. Down here. And 
off we go. We'll know if the snow starts to blanket over, we'll tool down, tools down for the day. The cultivator can keep running though. Might get a bit sloshy. Might tear the field up depending on how thick the snow gets. But either way, that field has to be prepped today. Because I don't want to miss out on, on cotton planting season. I need all three fields. If I'm going to survive financially, I'm going to have to make as much money as possible for uh, at least two seasons with cotton and just mass produce a lot of cotton. The only way. <coughs> Otherwise, I'll be forever. Um, like last season, before I sold the cotton, before harvest day two days ago, I was down to $5,000, and I'm not allowed to take a loan, so that's the rules I've made for myself on this bill. No loans and no cheaty cheat on money. So I had to build all the jet, and that's why I was leasing everything. So I'd like to own it outright. But um, I would have owned a little bit of machinery by now, but I keep on getting high fuel costs because I use high fuel use and uh, high services. So it means fast dirt, but when your vehicles are dirty, they require services and the dirtier they get, the more expensive the service becomes. But you can over service them as well and end up costing you more than one major service. It's all about timing. And we'll see this this map runs this map runs uh, from left to right as we're looking at it. So left to right as we're looking at it. If the snow is gonna blanket, it's gonna blanket from the top of that hill and work its way across the map. All across this way, that's how this map works. So, I'll keep my eye out over there, and if I see the snow packing in from the top of the hill, I'll know it's tooled down, and we're going to lose a day, so, get a little bit worrying at times. So I will grab the first run of this. They were the nicest conditions to work in. Freezing cold, sleet. So almost bill. Far, we're, we're lucky. I did say about 10 o'clock, so usually if it's going to be a thick snow, it'll come at 10 o'clock. We should see it any moment. And we'll start rolling in from that hill straight ahead, and it'll come straight towards us. We'll see how we go. We might, might get lucky. It might just be a, a, a sleet season. Last season was a monstrous very thick snow and it was there for two months. Ten o'clock. Gonna blanket blanket us in and we'll do it now. And I think we're gonna be okay. Matter of fact, I'm confident. I'm confident now that we're not going to get too heavy of a fall. <coughs> this is the highest peak in the game. 
overlook the entire farm from up here. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna get we're not gonna get thick. Thick snow, so we probably get the the seed around and get into it. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. It hasn't snowed by now, as in thick blanket, it's not coming. So we're going to be A-OK. -okay. And workers out there doing the right thing, finally. A worker that does the right thing. Oop. A little slippery. Big risk. I'm pretty confident we're gonna be we're gonna be fine. I'll turn around now actually so I'm not running across the field. Gamble, I did say 10 o'clock, so going off last season, the thick snow came at 10 a.m. Get the worker onto this just to do the first row. I, I can't stop looking at that hill because I, I do worry. I do worry that the snow's just going to bucket down on me. So, 10 o'clock says snow. After 10 a.m., we're pretty good. They're even going to get a little bit of sunshine. Hours of the morning. And we've got rain tomorrow, as in the end of that month. So, we're going to be fine. We should be on this field here. We should have a row. There we go. Lovely. Don't you bloody thick blanket snow now. <coughs> that had upset me. I'll get rid of the worker. And I'll also put a row down here. We're going to be fine. It is. It is a gamble, no doubt about it. Uh, I want to make sure seeds aren't getting bought. Okay, everything's off. I don't want to be paying for seed. We won't make any money. I've got some milk in there to sell. I can sell slurry if I need to, and I've got manure. But it's not going to be a few hundred thousand dollars. It's going to be very mild. What, the money, the amount of money we'll make from selling what's left, we, we, we should get about seventy or eighty thousand dollars in milk. We've got a fair bit of that. But I want to hang on to that as the last resort because I do not, do do definitely do not. I want to run short of money. Oh, oh, are we going to make it through? I'm just going to wait a second. Get me on that bloody mountain. So I'm going to do a, a header up the other end as well. Because we fenced the entire property in. Oh, there are wolves. Oh, look at our wolves. So I get these out of the way before it before it says no more room because that's not what I want. Get these guys out of the way. If it 
comes up no more room for wool then I'm missing out drag these over okay, I'll do it I'll do a double row no way I can get the trailer beside it oh, oh no, don't no oh dear all right well now you're up there you can stay up there Let's chuck that in into the sheep pen. No, you don't. Pretty good for next season anyway. I, don't know. I think this is the last of the wool too. They, they'll stop giving wool for about six months now. This may be the last of it actually. Going off the last two seasons. I don't even think that pallet there will complete the fill up. Let me just... Uh, up. There's no way you can do this in real life. But I have liftable pallets and bales uh, mod. It just makes it easier. The front end loader tools in this game are absolutely pathetic. They're garbage to use. So I'll do things the easier way. and the hill is clear oh geez it is slippery 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 one fold this now I'll probably just put some barley down here Considering there's no point. Whoa! Look at that, we're sliding all over the show. We'll get ahead of because I've got the fence line just while that's finishing unfolding. We've got the, the fence line running the entire perimeter. And I don't want I don't want the workers to have any reason to not do their job. Hang on, I'm going to move this over a little bit, give a little overlap. Oh, we should be good to go from here. Alrighty. I'll just get rid of this worker. It's got me in a nice straight line. As long as I don't touch the steering wheel, we should be, should be fine. Let's feed. We've got cotton going down. We're going to have the three biggest fields seeded with cotton this season. It pays really good money. And definitely 11 a.m. now, there's, there's no way we're going to get a thick, thick blanket of snow. It does come at 2 p.m. in the afternoon as well. 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., they're the two crucial times I found on this map anyway. Yeah, it's only a, only a mild snow this season. I'm grateful for it. And we'll just have a look now. We should have a full stripe there and a full stripe at the bottom, just about. Yeah, we're good. So the workers will come up here and 
and they'll turn around when they get there instead of going past and saying they're stuck and whatnot. Oh, my mate's doing pretty well. All right, I'm confident enough now. It actually looks like it's slowing down. Send a worker on his way. I don't mind overlap. Overlap means they won't be sitting here. All right. Everything's going well. Cotton season has started officially now. Yeah, the snow's slowing right down. Probably dissipate and go away. Yeah, they're getting there. Yeah, I think these are nice and straight too. And the point. Beautiful. I'm stoked with that. Yeah, it's just a little bit icy. Snow has stopped. Thank God for that. Absolutely nothing to worry about. Let's see if these cattle need a drink. milk 104,000 litres we're just about full I'm actually going to go and just transfer the milk over Can we, can we top the water up please? Is, is there a reason you won't let me top the water up? <laughs> oh, this game, all its bugs and shit. Let's go down. Oh, they got hay. Oh, their water's full. Righty -o. Well, not much you can do if they're full of water. Ice crystals everywhere. Water. 
money for water. Cover the cost of the fuel to get there and back. And of course our milk is full. I'll go and put it in storage, in our liquid storage tank. Bug like buggery. This game shits me so much. It's full of bugs and glitches. Giant software couldn't give a rat's ass. Too busy trying to make money from their constant non stop DLC. DLCs where the sun don't shine giants, you never get another cent out of me. Ever. You can't even give us any decent service for Christ's sake. It's a real letdown. A real letdown. Go back and grab the bill. Mate, what are you doing? Oh, nice one. How are we looking here? Very good. <laughs> and old mate's finished down there, so we'll get him on the other cedar. Let's 
still got the snow symbol in there, but I'm pretty confident that it's not going to happen. believe it he, he did his job surprises me shouldn't surprise me but it does a bit of a joke. Trailers go 45 degrees. Look at it. It's fucking bullshit. Absolute garbage. God damn it. Gives me the shit. Pathetic. Alright, let's go and get this other seat up. Sitting just down there. Past 12 after lunch, snow's gone, nothing to worry about, 100,000 litres of lime, we've got 5,000 litres and still cooking seeds. Get this guy onto the second field, just the one on our right hand side as we look. For the seed. I seeded it before I brought it out to this field. I was going to uh, put wheat down on it, but I missed out by one day and I just left it there. And I will unfold it now. Get him working from. Whoa! Screw. How do you like that? Looking fairly hazy out here. And yeah, we'll give it a bit of an overlap. And send the worker on his way. Off you go, son. The other ones, I can see it over there, he's midfield. middle of the field, just here somewhere. I could see the line where he was moving, which was like back here when I seen. Uh, so everything's pretty good. I don't think this is going to need lime. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. It was only a cultivation, not a plough, and we limed it before putting the grass down. So there's plenty of lime in there. And this has got corn in it, and the corn won't spring up yet. It's already fertilised with slurry, so that's pretty good. Let's have a look at if the truck is full. And it is. I'll go and take this over to storage. Yes, I'm sitting 10 feet in the air. Thank you. 
Okay. Giant software don't do their job. They just don't do their job. They had one job. One job. They can't do anything properly. Oh, actually they can do a few things properly. Like keep selling DLC. Greedy, money hungry sons of bitches. Take this over to the main liquid storage down in the truck yard. We've got cotton underway finally. Pretty happy about that. selling for <coughs> we should get we have got another trailer load there we've got 37 thousand and that doesn't cover a day uh, what do I do I'll get another load we've got another two loads in there I think Bill's at a low price right now I'd be stupid to sell it all and I want to put down a dairy and that's when I'll start making good money milk uh, milk 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 semi junior we can't sell eggs until November wool in April Milk in January. I'm a year out. If we don't sell the other milk now, our prices will fall through the arse. Uh, I'll fill up another load.
already know I, f I should be selling all the milk I've got and all these workers doing. Alright, nothing to complain about there. Have a look at the price of hay right now. I've got 200,000 litres. In January today, if we're going to sell it, would be the best day as well. Mm. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <coughs> I know one thing, I don't want to go broke. got 200,000 litres in storage and got more in the other one and today's the best price to sell it as well so we are in the third year which means we've, we've now got a track record of prices of sales always your first season you never know your second season is a bit different Now we're in our third year of sales, so kind of get an average now. <coughs> if I was to sell it, I'd take the road train out. Who knows? Maybe I will. Kind of, I think I should. We do own this trailer now, by the way, so. Um, that's one of the things we own. We own this and we own the corn header for the harvester. That's it. I own two pieces of equipment. And off we go. I also need to get a roller for this grass. <coughs> that'll lift the yield I'm not going to be baling silage anymore I'm not going to be baling hay anymore either I'm using the bales for straw and uh, cotton well, it'll be full in a second thousand litres. You little beauty. Actually I dropped this off over with the sheep. Drop this one over at the sheep pen. fuel into this one as well fairly soon <coughs> and I'll cut across here so we've got no seed down on this one as yet and that'll keep the sheep happy for a while knowing that we've got feed there for them like they turned off.
We shouldn't get any charges for it. Yep, they're all turned off. Lovely. Probably get rid of these bailers, that'll save that'll save money. I will actually. I'm gonna get rid of the bailers. The bailers, I no longer need them. Uh, return that. Return that. We'll bring our charges down. We're concentrating this season on on cotton bales. So I want as much room for bales as I can get for the cotton. Being fucked hard. Three rows to go. And we caught this guy at a good time. We'll be able to see the distance he's got to turn around. They'd always they'd always get stuck around here somewhere. Before before I did them headers. Now they got plenty of room. This guy's on his last run. Heading back to us, I know he's heading up. So he's almost done. I'll send him, I'll send that one out onto this field next. Uh, you know what? That uh, bottom field's got corn. It's got corn on it. Let's have a double check of all of that. So this doesn't need lime, as you can see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got corn in this one and we've got wheat we got wheat in that one yeah it's, it's been a few days since I've been on here I went over to the Michigan map I spent a few hours on that realized you can't put fences down because it keeps colliding with everything so I got rather ticked off about it please don't need lime I don't need that today thank you very good and we just got to do some fertilization, but I, I'm not in too much of a rush. I'll wait till they come up. And we've got fertilizer sitting up there. We've got liquid fertilizer. We've got about 10 barrels of it. It always faces me the wrong way, doesn't it? You've got about 10 drums. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. We got more than enough. Beautiful. Things are looking good. <coughs> Things are looking real good. Hmm. Hang on. Let's go sell our milk. Do, 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 do. Cattle farm here. Go. And once again, we're sitting 10 miles up in the air. Love this game's been big. Really gives me the shit. Come on, you fucking spat. Yeah. I don't know, giant software you can't do anything right. They really can't. Absolute noobs. Terrible programming. They have no idea how to test mods, that's for sure. They have no idea how to test mods. None. Come on, giddy up. Stage. The pine. 
one in the middle here too. Yeah, look at that. They've just gone up one more stage. Excellent. Forestry is looking good. empty slurry 122,000 what's slurry going for we're not going to use slurry this season we did it last season March to sell that. Yeah, grass field. We'll finish these rows off. We 
when I get up the top here, I should be able to move the other seeder and finish the cotton off on the third field. So I've already got straw coming on one of the back fields down there, the one on the left, you can see it's green. So that'll give us the straw we need from the wheat. And I'll just quickly send the Dear, that's why you didn't finish. We are out of seed. That means a bit of mucking around. Um, well, I may as well go fill it up. Actually, I'm not. Actually, I will. Uh, I was going to just buy the seed finish that row but then I have to have enough seed to do the next field so taking shortcuts like that would have been pointless off me selling things seeds are rather expensive when you get the workers to, to do it all and to buy the seed as well so we don't want to do it that way Line. Oh, 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 Jesus. Pretty slippery. sure if I'm able to seed up straight out of here. I'll try it from the side but I think I'll have to park right in front. Yeah, I didn't think so. I'll just wrap around here. Will this work? Please work. I think it's gonna <coughs> I don't think it's gonna do it. I'll try and park right in front of the spout. Otherwise maybe the front end loader will be able to empty into the bucket and then tip in the bucket. I don't know if the seeds will end up going everywhere. I'm hoping this is going to work. Yeah, it's not. Alright, let's try the front end loader. 8,000 litres at a time. I know the seed will go in the bucket. It's just a matter of whether it'll allow me to fill the seeder, or whether it will just spill the seed everywhere. We're about to find out, I guess. Oh, 4,000. I thought it was 8,000. 
Anyway, I was wrong. I wonder if I'm going to end up with a whole bunch of seed all over the ground. to see a whole bunch on the floor. Well, that's the end of that. So we turn it back on. Uh, we got no... Oh, we do have some wheat. Five thousand litres seed. Yeah, we do have wheat. can be in production <coughs> for next season. I should have emptied it when I had time months ago. I didn't think I'd run out of seed so quick. I would have put them in the big bags. Oh, look out, son. A bit reckless, wasn't it? Took it. Well, I can come back here and do this later. Right now, the most important thing is to get this cedar out. down here as yet. We can run across this field. season for cotton. Bit bouncy here. Borderline. 
still, the seed's taken to it. I like to have a little bit of an overlap. I forgot to turn that on. Everything's looking pretty good. Leasing costs down to thirteen thousand from ninety nine to eighty nine, up to one sixty four, down to eighty eight, and now thirteen thousand. So we should be okay financially. Two loads of milk, 75 grand. We've got everything covered. Uh, yeah, we're going to be all right. So tomorrow we can get down. Uh, we've got soybean as well to sell. Potato and beets can go in tomorrow. Let's see what soybean are. I've got a semi. I've got a, a road train load for soybean. And June, bugger. I'm gonna wait till June to sell that. All right, mate. Good job. We will now send you. Under this field, they used almost half a tank of fuel on that field. Bowl made out. Cotton field number three. There's only this in the row next to it left. these two rows uh, should be fine I'm not sure if I'll get the manure spreader out today or not I'll probably do that tomorrow and I'll put it on the cotton field but I'll let the seeds since it's just been seeded I don't want to pack it down so I'll give it another day then we'll run the manure fertilizer over it instead of slurry. They had slurry last season. I've got a lot of slurry though. I could probably get manure and slurry one and one. Definitely quicker with the slurry. Just because of the sheer width of the slurry spreader. And at the same time it it just goes through the slurry like like there's no tomorrow. Always helps to put the pickup down. Thank you. And we're full. Let's go in the back of the chicken, through the back of the chicken coop here to drop this off over at the cattle barn. Oh, more eggs. Look how many eggs. Man, these things are cranking them out. Good little chooks. Nah. Oh dear. Put 
enough. Look, another one just popped out. The chooks make me proud, I'll tell you. They're making me proud. Uh, put it on this side. Stupid. There we go. Cool. Bok, bok, bok. Money, money, money. So throw a few more trees around too. Might even be able to do that today. 4.15 I could even put cotton in that field in front of us The wind is on the other field there So if I put cotton down here that would be four fields of cotton Pretty cool yeah, this is wheat. Decent sized field. Plenty of straw on it. It's probably probably best I don't have the fourth field because I'll run out of bale space. Which is ridiculous. done. Final row and we'll pick up the dregs left from the other row. Until all our hay done. Make hay while the sun shines. Oat for the horses as well. I don't need much. Just one big bag would be fine. I actually meant to do that yesterday. I uh, forgot all about it. It's almost so, so much to do all the time. And that's it. We're all done. Cross country for a moment, momentarily. Grass season is finished. This away. Ah, this guy needs a drink. Give him some fuel. Really 
that when I come back. Probably give it a minor service too. Get it back up there. That way this tractor will be ready for for the cotton. I could probably hold off a bit actually. I don't really use this for anything else. Mainly just the bale tractor. I almost went on the damn cedar field then. Don't want that to happen. <coughs> Parking around. I think I'll just, while I'm here, I'll just take a bale over to the sheep. I'll just drop a bale in there for him. There's another pallet of wool ready. I'm pretty sure that today's the last day that they'll be making making wool for the season. Out in the weather, it all doesn't rot. It's waterproof. Oh, almost knocked them over. You guys want some feed? Yeah, I think I think I will, and that'll get rid of another bale. Might be able to get this side on. I don't need it all, it'll still sit under the cover anyway, so it shouldn't rot away. Well, they took that as well. Alright, I might continue. Grab another double bale, put it in front. That'll start freeing up some bale storage. Because it reckons I'm full. I don't know how, but it just reckons it. Fed. This won't rot away. 
That's pretty cool. We'll park this old fella up. Does need a drink, but not right now. We'll probably sit here until cotton harvest. Very good. Yeah, look, we've got lots of food, haven't you? Hey, no? I'm food in there. Quarter past five. You're getting dark soon. Is he out of seed? I thought so. Come on, it means it's getting dark. You fucking piece of shit. Front end load of tools in this game. Just 
stay there for now. I do have to fill the cedar up again. But not right now. Right now, I have to finish this field. And it's going to cost me... It's going to cost me double time. I'm going to slow down the time to normal. Come on. get the worker onto that. <coughs> Not much else to do. I'm uh, in the stream here. I'm just going to wait for these guys to finish seeding. There's not much for me to do. It's getting dark. So I think I will finish the stream. We'll just have a look at what he's up to. He's still going. Probably I'll have to bring some seed out to this guy. I'll do that off camera. Alright, I'm going to end the stream. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching.